Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope my message find you well and good this morning in here with the breakfast show. We are at trading with Smart Robbie Stock Idea and we are on Wednesday, the 16th of December. Now, last night we did have a very good closing of the Dow Jones and I hope that some of your portfolio are doing well as well as mine and some of our members too. And if you're not, just send me a text and see how we can help you, whether can Smart Roby can help you or we can help you in many states. As I said before, going forward for year 2021, it's going to be good. And we have seen that last yesterday at 4 o'clock when the budget 2021 has been approved. So that is what is happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. So while we are waiting for some of you are coming in, if you have any stocks that you want me to look at, I'll be very, very happy to look at because today we still have a bit of time to look at some case studies, some stock that have run, and also new stock trade idea with the Breakfast Show Trading with Smart Robbie idea. Now, that's right. So if you have any stocks you want me to look at, just pencil that in. I'll be happy more than to just look at them and really get you on moving right now, especially the market now uh, is moving. I think this morning, let me just check my Smart Robbie in here. But before that, let's go on to our show here now thank you thank you for coming this morning in here let's see what we have for you in right today is wednesday that's right so for wednesday we are focusing on the intermediate level now remember on monday we did a trading plan for that one and then also on the uh, pentagon guider but on wednesday we usually choose the trending stock which is mean you must be intermediate now if you are listening intermediate we really appreciate if you could share this video in your timeline so more people can enjoy the work that we are doing and really helping them we also be looking at chart setup too but not forgetting the new sentiment which you want if you have any way to continue feedback to us to change the format of our breakfast show, we'd be happy to you just send me and what are the things that you want to see. But today, definitely these are the four items that we were looking at right now. All right, so uh, again, I'm just going to highlight. Yes, some of you have given you some stocks inside there. JCY, good, bio holdings, which is I'm going to be looking at that too. All right, let's look at what we have for you in our morning roundup. That's right. So in our morning roundup is definitely what we talk about this morning the budget budget been approved now remember at the last minute i think uh, that was on monday if i'm not today's wednesday right monday we have the you know the uh, ex-prime minister and also cooley coming out at 4 p.m doing the press conference and that was a big concern as such the market actually tanked and that also caused the rubber glove to go down but more on another slide but Yesterday, we have the approval of the budget and uh, the recovery is on plan. And this morning, let's look at it. We are up on my right-hand side, just top of your screen here. It's up 16 points. So definitely, we are in par for the 1700. What do you think? Do you think we will cross the 1700 level or not? Right, that's the no-brainer question, isn't it? Many of you would have already guessed that, hey, it's easy to cross the 1700 uh, now that we have passed through it and uh, that nothing seems to be budget. But the story revolved around that the budget, the 322.5 billion, was critical to the economic recovery and also the uh, post-COVID recovery where buying all the vaccine. Now that has been passed. Of course, they're talking about job numbers, which continue to struggle, really, really struggle. But I hope that with this uh, budget being approved, they are able to come back and give more uh, you know, meaning for businesses for 2021. All right. Now, definitely uh, next on our news is Usma. We have seen the oil and gas has already up. How do we know that? This evening, we will be talking about the sector analysis on our sector analysis uh, dashboard that we have in our trade VSA. So Usma able to secure a 200 million uh, job extension with, if I'm not mistaken, Petronas Chari Gali in here. So uh, let's look at uh, Usma. When I last saw it, that chart has already gone up a fair bit. All right, let's take a look at our bigger screen here. Okay, let's look at Usma. And usually when you see this kind of good news, but just take note of it. When did first Pentagon first came out? If you look at the chart, the first Pentagon came out almost before 8th of November. Now knowing that if you buy the Pentagon much, much earlier, around 36 or 37 cents, now is 50, what, 56? So 56, the other by 36, that is almost a 55% 
profit. That's right, 55% profit. And that's how is it? Buy on the Pentagon. Buy after the Pentagon triggered. Or buy using Smart Roby trading plan. So if you've been watching a fair bit, you will know this is how we do it. Not all trades will make money, that's for sure. But right now, we have the budget improved, the better sentiments with Joe Biden you know, being secured on the electoral college that we have yesterday, right? Uh, more on that on the US session in there. That's why we are seeing what we are seeing here. Definitely Smart Roby today will give you a lot, a lot of trade idea. All right, let's move on to our next story. So our next story is on the rubber glove. All right, rubber glove talks about the, uh, I think 36 M workers or more or less that been uh, tested COVID-19 as such the partial shutdown was up because they are also worried that something like this happened to top glove where we've seen almost 5,000 uh, people were uh, tested COVID and would this happen also to Hata Lega. Right now, I think Hata Lega are more in stream. They did not get into any of the bad books with the, with the US um, uh, custom borders as well as the uh, what we call mistreatment of foreign workers. I think Hata Lega being a quiet achiever is a much better management. Don't you think so? What do you think? Do you think Hata Lega is a better management than what we've seen so far or otherwise? All right. Tell me what you think, okay? Because we have seen the uh, the, the the there are four options basically, you know, the, the the quality ones. We have the Supermax, we have the Atalega, the Top Glove, and also Kosan. They are the smaller one like Comfort. Uh, then we have the LKL. All those are coming in. Uh, then we also have a Lux Cam, which is coming in. So they are all smaller player. But we want to focus on quality. If you're just looking on on just trading with the rubber sector, a little bit of exposure, definitely the small cap stock. But again, be cautioned. The volatility, the market goes up and down. That's the one that I believe many beginners cannot take the kind of volatility. Buy, yes, I want 30% return, but I don't want 30% loss. You see what I mean? <laughs> but volatility is definitely the, the game. You must able, it. and more importantly, don't sideline on any trade, all right? So right now, uh, uh, BMB has maintained a buy call on Hata Lega with a target price of 23.80, as opposed to the JP Morgan, isn't it? That's something we will talk tonight. JP Morgan talk about it's only worth $8.50. So who knows better, the Masale analyst or the Malaysian analyst? What do you think? Let me know. Type it in there. All right. Yep. Okay. Let's go on to the. Next story that we have in here is Cyber Dynamics. Now we talk about Cyber Dynamics. Let's take a look at Cyber Dynamics, okay? And I'll just bring up the chart here. Okay, just type in the Cyber Dynamics in my, uh, and then bring up the charts. So you can see Cyber Dynamics, where are we now? All right, let me just blow up the chart here for you. And so you notice Cyber Dynamics before this new and any other private placement, right, came out, it actually pushes up, but take note, there were no green pentagon so you were not trapped that is why uh, smart roby right with the pentagon guider are smart enough not to pick any moro buzuba you know the one that uh, there are some uh, blogger out there teaching people to use moro zubua going going but with smart roby you would have avoided that right now we just need to wait for a better pullback if you are advanced or one of the students who buy on pullback then you can use a pullback trade but the story talks about private placement in here, right? Uh, you can look at the trading plan, as I said before, on the pullback. There is a pullback. Again, you need to have a bit of skill, else you can trade if it breaks above two ringgit. That's right, two ringgit, 185, 190 is the pullback, which is actually right now, I believe, all right? You want it to go a bit higher, okay? Then you want to buy 185, so it's 176. So you want it to go back to 185, then only you buy. It's important. There is a process. Don't buy falling knife. Remember, don't buy falling knife. You catch the thing, go down and down. And as I said before, many, many times we stress that if you've been listening and following our channel, we want you to be an educator and a trained whether it's trader or investor. Make that as part of your agenda. Would you do that for me? Would you type in your comment, I want to be a trained investor and a trained trader. That should be your goal for 2021, shouldn't it be? Right? You should have a goal to really skill yourself. Let's say 2021 is a good year, 2022 is a good year. But if you did not get the right skill and the right tool and still continue to hear there, say there, and you continue to lose money, who is it to be blamed? Definitely yourself, right? So this is why we wanted to do 
type it in there, those of you who are super keen, really to become, make a commitment yourself. And we still have another 16 more days before the New Year resolution, isn't it? Everyone in 2021 always say, hey, what's my resolution this year? I say, oh, maybe I'll lose some weight. Lah. Or maybe I don't eat so much fried food. Maybe I shouldn't see too much Korean movie. But should you put in one that says that, hey, I want to be a trained investor and trained trader. It doesn't matter where you learn it from. More important is the context as well as the education. Is it suitable for you, right? There are many free Sifu out there who is willing to teach you also for free. And there are some of them also on YouTube that is showing a lot of, lot of India. Check them out. See if that fits you or not, right? I think that's more important going forward. Now let's move on to our next story, which is the US market. That's right. Now last night, the US closed 338 points when I was watching last night before I went going to sleep around 11. And we say, hey, you know, this market really going to break up. And one of the reasons why is because of Apple. Now those of you who are member who came to our masterclass was last weekend, I already mentioned Apple, isn't it right? And Apple started to break up. I think some of you may have picked it up. Some of you may have not. But check out the Pentagon Guide. It appeared much much earlier now last night i think uh apple rally about five percent on this stock in here definitely for sure of course some of you may have taken profit good but you can always get back in but the story we wrote around the us covid 19 stimulus which already been announced or soon to be announced and that's why we're seeing this market cracking above thirty thousand one hundred. as i said before uh 30 30 000, is not there now what is your prediction for the Dow going forward for 20. I think we can touch 39,000. That's right, a 30% up move that we see. Now go back to 2017 when Donald Trump win, when the market needed to rejuvenate, to reheal, you know, the, the words that they're using by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, that is what we're talking about in here. Now let's turn on our attention to our next KLCI news, which you should have here. And you hit the main menu. And the KLCI news, right? So you can see right now the KLCI is very, very positive, which you know we've seen the budget and definitely Busa and higher because of budget 2021. So right now, the smart Ruby, it's very smart enough. Of course, there are other news. You can look at Top Glove, uh, uh, resume buyback of own share today. You see, Top Glove cannot go down, still buying own share. But we'll talk more about tonight, right? And then uh, item number four, Hatalega confirmed. 35 tested positive for COVID-19. So Smart Robbie is smart enough to pick up those news that you needed, uh, which is necessary. So check out this every day. And it refreshes very every half an hour or to one hour with new news so you don't have to waste time. Smart Roby will do it for you. Now let's move on to our next story. Now next story is that we are going to highlight some of the past episodes of the immediate trade idea in here. Of course, these are some very good winners in here. So the next question is, that, yeah, how come I didn't buy? Can buy now or not? It is important, as I said before, some of those trades I see, I've shown you, like like like, like Cyber Dynamic, like, like Usma. If you had bought following the Pentagon Guider, you'll be much, much better off in here. Definitely trending list. It's already trended up, which means it happened. Remember, it happened past Pentagon Guider. On Pentagon Guider, we will do on Monday segment for our beginner level. But today, we will focus on intermediate. I assume you have some experience going forward. So right now, if you look at the trending list, we have uh, uh, Delium 31%, uh, Muda Jaya 12% since 11 November, 56%. Of course, it takes time to run, ladies and gentlemen, right? The earlier it is, you notice like 4th of November and 11 November, it gives some sort of a double digit return. The newer one, like 2nd of December, like uh, LHI, the 8th, my news which is 9th of december which is actually last week and air asia also last week started to move up you have to give some now the the faction is that i always get uh things that by the time the trending list comes out a lot of the members and a lot of you say or even premium alert hey this stock already up eight percent how to buy but remember these stocks that you see here also happen the same thing we buy today it's not to sell in, within the day we have to give it room. Now, depending on your TP, which is TP can be set by Smart Robbie, either TP1 or TP2, or you have some sort of 10%, 20%, I'll leave it up to you. You must allow the trade to develop. That's why going back to the what I call the agenda for 2021, what's your goal? Do you want to be a learned investor or trained investor, trained 
trader? If you are, then give yourself some room to learn. And more importantly, give yourself room to make mistakes. Mistakes is common, ladies and gentlemen. I make mistakes when I started my career. You look at the, all these stock picks, you can see there. Not all of them are winner. One out of seven, there is still one loser. That's for sure, right? Of course, we want to also learn from our great winners as well as our great loser. Now, just very quickly, I just want to go to uh, May Bao, okay? Just randomly, okay? Uh, okay, let's go to May Bao. Okay, we will come to... So you look at May Bao and you can see May Bao, right? This switching into a daily chart. You can see from the green pentagon, which is actually 10th of November. This fella... All right, but we selected somewhere uh, uh, maybe about 11 of November. Okay, so you notice uh, a, a 10 was a Pentagon guider, 11 was the day we go in. So you go in on the opening price or midday the price, and you can see this market run up 56. It's no rocket scientist, ladies and gentlemen, because why? As I said before, the background, the budget 2021, the Joe Biden winning, these are causing the economy to cry. And don't forget what's happening right now. We have the COVID. A vaccine by Moderna and Pfizer and you have seen the news the first vaccination of the uh, US citizen which is beginning right now in New York and that is cre creating a lot of uh, optimism in the market all right okay also we want to look at another one uh, which is just recently like LHI okay uh, Leong Hub, uh, Leong Hub. so you can see here this is Leong Hub, just following the Pentagon when the green Pentagon comes then you can see the next day you're up now of course some of these you said hey martin the smart roby pentagon is end of day no problem when you are ready like i said before if your agenda is to be a skilled trader and a trained investor you want to upgrade your skill then go for it if you think that that's not part of your agenda then don't do just go for all the free stuff that is in trading view and the many ways you can learn it. I think that's very important. I always say that when you are ready, the teacher will appear. That's right. That's more important. At least you have right now an agenda to be a trained investor and trained. So this is what I talk about. The market goes up 7% in here. All right. So uh, the others, I don't think we want to go. But more importantly, I want to share with you is the lesson learned from here. Lesson learned. Let's go on to lesson learned. Now, one of the trades that I selected previously, if you look deeply, lesson learned, all right, we, we learn from our weakness, definitely, like May Bao, Delium, all has made double dip, but we also learn from uh, past failure. Now, let's look at Bio Alpha, one of the stocks that I did talk about on the 2nd of December. Usually, I give it a bit of time, you know, the market to move, and then we can really study it better. Let's look at Bio Alpha uh, for what it is. Now, Bio Alpha, like it or not, is one of the stocks that really turn and when uh, parabolic now you always have to be careful on parabolic now let me ask the audience if the smart money were involved when do they want to sell the smart money want to sell when do they want to sell they want to sell when there is good news or bad news type it in there what do you think good news or bad news ah you'll remember the green packet case study that i talked about in some of my talks right now smart money always choose to sell on good news and definitely we are the uh, trending stock we also pick it up on the 2nd of december now of course i have to switch to our hourly chart you can see the volume in here which is the turquoise one, was very climatic now 2nd of december was the date that i picked let me just refresh it see 2nd of december okay so this is second December. so we want to go back and really revisit all the cases that's all we can ever do we learn from our past mistakes most importantly we have some small losses we have the big winners. You can see early on, we have seven, maybe six winners. We have two losses in there. Of course, some of you say, yo, why? Uh, why are you going to buy it by your alpha? I should have bought May Bao, isn't it? But it's okay. Remember, your agenda already is to be a trained investor and a trained uh, investor. We all learn from it. Have a journal. Write it down like this. Write it down to a journal here. And that's going to be good. Now, let's look at the trade for what it did. You can see in here, right? You can see on the... Uh, 9 of December, okay, you can, uh, sorry, 2nd of December at 9, 10 o'clock. That's where the trending stock list picks up. But immediately after lunch, what happens? The market drop, right? So here, you got uptrust. Now remember, uptrust is a sign of weakness. Now, if you don't know that, on the next slide, I'm going to show you some video. You can find out more what is uptrust, UT. Okay, UT here is very, very bad. So of course, uh, if you go to Pentagon, let me just buy, buy your alpha here. Okay, just... B I A O. Okay, you can see. Let me just show you the chart here. 
Okay, so you can see, let me blow it up. Uh, this is what happens on that day. Okay, and right now we already have red pentagon. So if you look here on the uh, smart Roby chart, we have only daily chart. All right, of course, when you're ready, you want to upgrade. Uh, then you switch to an hourly chart. In the trading view, we are upgrading our chart, so we use interactive chart. It's real-time chart. It's just using hourly. You don't need to switch to 15 minutes. Use hourly chart. Now, you notice after lunch, the market sell down. Like it or not, you have to understand volume came in. Now, if you look very deeply, how, why does this happen? How come we even train investor like myself have been lured into it? So one thing we need to know, what is the motivation on high volume now think very carefully we always have to think very carefully. is this by chance or is it by design all right why did we have high volume now i talk about good news and bad news so one of the things you can do in smart roby is that you go on looking at the news now look at the news all right look at the news you can see here item number one buy alpha partner with hong kong listed rita max to manufacture dietary supplement on now remember take a look at the date Take a look at the date, right? You go to the date. Okay, let me just refresh this again. And you see what date is this? Haha, -ha. 2nd of December. So what happens? Hey, Martin, you're right. You may say something. Hey, BioAlpha, sign good deal with Rita Max. Oh, wow, so wonderful. Why the bloody thing come down? Ah, now you know, isn't it? Now you know. I also gonna con. <laughs> But usually, I don't buy this kind of stocks when everyone is talking about it. So that's why part of the agenda being a trained investor is that you need to find roots, able to follow the smart money. Now remember, there's a lot of bloggers out there which are on Facebook to tell you to buy this and buy that. It's okay. You want to follow, it's okay. Not a problem. But always read the intention of the person and read the chart. Even some people say, hey, Martin, you could be a smart money too. I say, it's true. It's possible. But my job is to teach you to read the chart. And that's why if you have a tools like this, you will not get caught again. All right? But again, we got one out. Not every trade works. So the lesson learned from here is, let me just share with you. I hope you got it this way. Something that's good for you is be careful of the good news. <laughs> I hope you like this case study is that, you know, we learn something every day. Right? And from this, we know that smart money will lure unsuspected investor as you can see before item number one item number two item number three and they are all good news okay so when you pick this you'll be very excited isn't it so learn to appreciate bad news so right now rubber glove it's very very bad news isn't it all right so is it easy to buy definitely not so that is why we always talk about you know, being a trained investor is important as part of your journey then your minds are open you learn better and guess what at the end of it, you will make money. And I can promise you that if you open up your mind, the problem is a lot of people don't open up their mind. They're very close. They prefer the shortcuts. They prefer to listen here and there. I done my fair sharing when I first started off, listening here, listening here. But today, it's a different altogether. Uh, I have said that I helped many of my students and Smart Robbie has enabled you due to the good feedback they are getting. Continue to give us feedback how we can make our educational programs to be you and at least we can learn something from our past mistakes. So that's something I want to share with you for this morning in here. Now, of course, uh, I'm not forgetting where are we going next. Now, there are two stocks which we're going to review. It's gaming stock. Apparently, uh, gaming is, is back because we talk about the recovery in the market in here. Magnum and, and Gundings are in. So let's bring up the interactive chart. Of course, you can also bring... Uh, how do I find this? Again, going back to the main menu, I want to hit trending stocks. All right, you can see uh, there is 12 candidates there. Uh, Carlsberg. Hennigan, Magnum, uh, sorry, uh, my Muslim friend. Uh, uh, today, apparently, I choose all gaming. But guess what? You can go in and choose yourself too. So that's why I said, oh, you can learn how to read the chart by following also Zach every night, 11 uh, sorry, 9.30, uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. And you can follow on much, much better in here. So let's look at uh, what we have in here. So let's look at uh, uh, first one is uh, Magnum. Okay, let's look at Magnum where we were. That's right. So Magnum has, oh, in here, look at this. This is also ultra high volume. We have to be very careful, all right? But doesn't matter. We will take this stock and then lesson learned, right? If you don't pick this stock, we will never learn. So also, you can check Magnum. Okay, let's see where is Magnum this morning in here. 
and see whether got any uh, wonderful news or not. Okay, if there's news, maybe you want to uh, avoid that. So we hit the news. So Magnum returned to black on third quarter on higher draw quarter on quarter. That's November 26. So you can see November 26 was here. Where is it? Ah, here. This is the earnings date. So this could be just reacting on the black. But let's see, because this morning I chose it because it has a spring. Let's see next week or the week after whether it will start to move out. But usually right now we have a lot of uptrust in here. If there's no confirmed uptrust, mean that market doesn't trend down, then it's okay. All right, it does did pay a dividend in here. Volume is high, which means the market will move. But again, let's look at it. But again, what I, what I like about, about it is just for, for, for this manner, uh, let's look at the stock fundamentals, right? It does pay uh, a di uh, yes, it does pay a four point three percent dividend. Okay, now let's look at the next one is Genting Malaysia. Okay, now of course Genting Malaysia is back, and you can see it hops on the the, the COVID nineteen continue to move up. This one is very nice. I think it's going to push up pretty much like what you saw earlier on. You can see. Uh, let me just go back to a few slides, a few winning trades that we have here. It's, it's just like going to be like Air Asia, okay? Air Asia, Genting Malaysia will behave like Air Asia, like Abang Adik lah. Uh, if Air Asia go up, more overseas people come up, uh, Genting will move up already. So Genting is, again, Genting like it or not, in my opinion, is a short term play. Uh, longer term, we don't know because the whole industry would recover. It's going to be long. If you have bought it earlier on and intend to ride it, for a good profit, you know, what we talked about earlier around this kind of range, 10-15% or on Red Pentagon, I leave it up to you. All right. Smart Roby has all the trading plan and all the exit strategy to help you to uh, lock in a few winners. Of course, make sure your losses are small, your winners are bigger, then you'll be fine. All right. Now, let's move on and, uh, and something that uh, we want to do. Now, Christmas comes early. That's right. Now, we have a Christmas giveaway and we want to hear your voice. From the 15th, which is yesterday to 24th of December, we will give you 300 Smart Robbie credit. Because some of you complain, Martin, I want to have some free credit. How are, how are? So here is. We have five lucky winners will be selected on Christmas Day and you'll give an additional gift. Another 500 credit and one day investing cost. That's right. We're doing another one day investing cost, maybe just before Chinese, you after Chinese, to get you educated. Remember, you have this educated train investor mindset that you want to do for 2021 this is the free educational course we want to give to you plus 500 credit now how to claim at least your first 300 credit for your first initial work go over you can see the qr code like and viewers on facebook in at least 30 words and screenshot your profile and send it back to our help desk so that way we can credit you the 300 for just doing this and guess what if you do very well and we like your review, we will give you 500 credit plus a one day cost. If you add all this up, that's almost 800 free credit plus an investing cost that will help you in 2021 if your agenda, like what you say, to be a trained investor and a trained trader because we feel we will put in enough material to get you there, right? All you got to do is plan when we do meet up on the Zoom, just tell us what do you want? What is your financial goal for 2021? And we will help you out there as we have helped many and thousands of our students too. All right. So there's something for you in here. Claim it right now. All right. Now, not forgetting is uh, the sign of strength in here. We, we talk about those things. Again, uh, the schematic chart, always pay attention to narrow spreads. Okay. What are the things that before those line change or when we see those uh, chart start to run right you can switch to an hourly chart and you can see there's a lot of this what we call narrow spread bar low volume bar before the big run this is the line change this is where the market start to move up but this is the most important part okay pay attention you can take a picture of this one continue to learn and pay attention to those once you are trained yourself then you are on the right move okay now of course we have the KL code in here those of you who are first time joining and don't know what is out up trust and things like that Take this KL code and scan it and watch it. You'll be fine. Okay, so don't forget the claims now. Tonight, special 9.30. That's right. Uh, again, uh, due to popular demand, people are concerned because they have rubber glove. They have Hatta Lega. We just talked shortly. You know, at one point, JP Morgan is saying $8.50 for Hatta Lega. Then 
Another analyst is saying $23. What is all this analyst all about? One say hi, one say low, right? So who is telling the truth and who is lying? We always have to look at the chart. Even being a trained investor like myself, when you read this kind of analyst report, you'll be scratching your head, right? Apa ini ya? Simply taro one. Ah. So tonight, we will review that and make sure you share with your friends this event, 9.30, KLSE Rubber Glove Sector Update. What happened to the rubber glove sector? Should I buy, hold or sell now? I will see you tonight, all right? Don't forget, do join our Telegram free stock market information. Uh, that's the one that you've been, you know, been fully uh, informed of all our activities, all our uh, free gift for the Christmas. And really thank you for sharing. I know you have some stocks you want me to look at, but I want to keep the time short in here. I, I apologize, I didn't have the time to review that. But certainly um, on Friday night, do join my colleague, Zach, who is free to look at your stocks in here. Definitely, if not, you can always check out Smart Roby and Ask Smart Roby. Follow the trading plan, okay? If you don't know how to read bar by bar chart, not a problem. Just follow Zach every night and learn a bit. And when you're ready to upgrade, join our next uh, intake, which I believe uh, uh, February, that's right, uh, after Chinese New Year, just before or after Chinese, because they are, we have some query. We just finished one last weekend and we've done our US market. We make a couple of trades. We win some money. That's good, isn't it? That's all about it. When the market is booming, we want to meme. Right? And uh, thank you for, uh, for coming today. I hope you all learned something today. I really appreciate your time yeah, with us and really enjoy the uh, Christmas period the ever giving period uh, we call it the giving period and we are also giving here too so make sure you have a good holiday i'll see you tonight at 9 30. bye bye